this is Maria Rose Jacob signing in with you. Indeed, the past year has been a distressing one for all of us. A virus invisible to the naked eye has put the world on pause. Yet, here we are once again, back to herald the academic year 2021-22. to I'm sure we will have some chances, at least for a few of us, to connect both virtually and in school. We will continue to make the most of things and we will get through this together. We are going to look behind and say we did it. It's over. Here we are, standing strong as Nirmalites. Respected principal sister, beloved teachers, management, support staff, parents and my dear friends, let's welcome the academic year 2021 to 22. Shall we have a quick glimpse of today's programs? To begin with, we have a short prayer service to thank our Lord and seek His blessings. Then we have the pledge and the welcome ceremony followed by the offertory. After the offertory, we conclude with the national anthem. Now, wherever you are, let us rise, join our hands and bow our heads as we participate in the prayer service. Give my parents 
teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people i pledge my devotion in their well being and prosperity alone lies my happiness order learning is a treasure that follows its owner everywhere it is a moment of great privilege and honor for me to extend my hearty welcome to all vibrant students who have come from various schools when you enter this loving school you are one of the special members of an extraordinary family every school year is a gift filled with challenges opportunities and moments of sorrow and joy once again i welcome you all to the new academic year in our school thank you Dear students, members of the staff, and parent community, a hearty welcome to the opening ceremony of the academic year 2021-22. Although I cannot see you before me, I am sure that you are all watching this virtual program. I thank the Lord for granting us a new day to live and a new academic year to look forward to. I take this opportunity to congratulate all the teachers, your dear principal, Sister Linsa Maria, non-teaching staff, the IT team members, students, parents, and everyone else for making the academic year 2020-21 a grand success. We were all hoping to resume regular classes in the campus this year, but. The second wave of the COVID pandemic has forced us to continue education in the online mode. I assure you that we will do all that is possible to make the teaching and learning process more effective and engaging. The lockdown has taught us to find opportunity in times of difficulty. Many of you participated in the online competition Solace 2021 and the competitions held 
in connection with the Founders Day celebrations. I would like to appreciate you for your overwhelming enthusiasm and response to this interview. I extend a warm welcome to the students and teachers who have newly joined the Nirmalite family. I pray that the Lord may help you lead meaningful lives in this institution. On behalf of your dear principal, Sister Linsa Maria, who is unable to come online, I wish all of you a blessed year ahead. Let's begin this new academic year with hope and trust in God. Thank you. May God bless you. Devotion 
the Holy Eucharist and winning souls for thee. Grant, O Lord, that the halo of the blessed may soon adorn him. Implant in us, O Lord, his charity and his humility of heart and great devotion to the Holy Eucharist and render ourselves worthy of this loving Father. Dean, O Lord, to grant us, if only it agrees with your divine will, the particular favour we humbly ask of thee that all may know of his holiness and his power of intercession before thy divine bounty. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you the amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine. belong to the Lord, for he laid its foundation on the seas and established it on the rivers. Yes, Lord, you have given us this world. You have given material blessings for us to give back to you, for us to do good with it. Lord, we are here to surrender this institution and the gifts for your blessings and use it to glorify you. Here, our offertory ceremony begins as our respected principal, still in Samaria, places the word of God. Here, we offer the textbooks, notebooks and other supporting gadgets. Take and sanctify these materials. Oh Lord, we offer you gifts like pen and other instruments used to construct and train young minds who come under our care. A healthy mind dwells in a healthy body. Hence, we offer all the sports and other materials used for physical training, a neat and clean premises respectively. Brought here together by Christ's love, we are here to offer our official documents, registers and files of this institution. Lord, we also offer our vehicles and everything connected to it. Keep them safe in thy mantle. Lord, we offer the management, all the faculty, our parents, students and all our services. Look with favor, Heavenly Father, knowing that we love and serve you is enough reward. On this occasion, let's also remember the dearly departed souls and pray for them in one minute silence. We offer all our COVID patients and pray, Lord our Saviour, at this time of trials, troubles and temptation, cover us with the most precious blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Cast anything that should not be in them, Root out any unhealthy or abnormal cells. Open any blocked arteries or veins and rebuild and replenish any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection by the power of Jesus' precious blood. Let the fire of your healing love pass to the entire body so that their body will function the way you created it to function. Amen. The sun cannot compare to the glory of your love. There is no shadow in your presence. No mortal night would dare to stand before your throne. Before the holy world of heaven. It's only by your blood and it's only through your mercy.